done in my life. I hope they do not ever do that. Well. Well. I'm a journalist too. Oh my god. Hi, how are you doing? Well, I'm fine. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Good. Now, you're here at the Obama office, and I understand that you've been involved in getting the veterans to this uh, veterans event? We have reached out. You know, sometimes veterans are kind of hard to find. Some of them just kind of are quiet and, and enjoying their lives, and you have to seek them out. But we've been able to get uh, reach out to uh, some lists that we have and our knowledge of some of the posts, and we've uh, contacted a number of veterans to be here today, yes, and we trust that we'll have quite a few. So you're a veteran yourself? Oh, yes, I'm a veteran of the Korean War. I think you can tell by the shade of my hair that I go back nearly to World War II, but I just missed it. I lost three first cousins in World War II, which was kind of a shock to a, a high school student. And, but I then was drafted five years later for the Korean War, and I was in Korea for 18 months in the uh, counterintelligence corps. So I saw Korea when it was down, and I've lived long enough to see it come back up as a, a very prosperous country. So what do you think about the U.S. involvement in the war in Iraq? Well, I think that it's long overdue to be ended. I, did not, I was not comfortable when we went in. I know it's easy to be, look like a an armchair quarterback, but I was very uncomfortable going in. And when Colin Powell spoke at the United Nations, I couldn't believe my eyes and ears that he, a man of that stature, obviously was somewhat brought into things. Uh, we've since learned that it's, a, it's, a, it's an operation in futility. We really have to get out of it as safely and as quickly as we can. So was that one of the main reasons that you're involved in the Obama campaign? Well, I think, uh, I, in fact, I know it is. Uh, my veteran posture. I was a veteran four years ago for John Kerry. And at that time, we were talking about, he was talking about, full funding for the Veterans Administration and all that would imply, all the wonderful things that could happen for veterans if it was fully funded. Today, it still isn't fully funded. But this candidate, it's one of the number one things on his list, the top of his list, to fully fund the Veterans Administration. And uh, that's why I'm on his campaign, yes, and very much for him as our next president. Thank you, Dick. Yes. Yeah, this is good. Uh, we're so pleased to be speaking with Charles, Chuck Jimenez. Chuck, you're a veteran. You're supporting Senator Obama. You're here at this veterans event. Uh, what does this mean to you? Well, it means that we have a chance to do some th changing that we need to do and catch up on uh, things that have to be caught up for the benefit of veterans that hasn't been done in the pr prior administration. And I brought with me two veterans from the Navajo Nation from Upper Fruitland that you should talk to also. Hello, sir. So welcome to Rio Rancho. Thank you for coming. And uh, what is your involvement in the Obama campaign? And why do you support Senator Obama? We'd like to get more uh, v, uh, veterans' benefits. You know, the, uh, there's a lot of us uh, natives out there that are kind of overlooked for years and years, and we, we need to, uh, you know, to catch up with, with some of these uh, issues here as far as uh, VA benefit is. Thank you. And so where do you folks live? Uh, Kirtland, New Mexico. That, is that pretty far from here? Uh, that's about over three hours drive. Okay, well you came quite a ways to, to participate in this event. So what, um, what are service of the armed forces were you in? A United States Marine Corps. And were you a, a overseas at all? Uh, just state sites. And what about you, sir? What uh, what branch of the service were you in? I was with the United States Navy. I'm a Vietnam vet. You were in Vietnam? Right. Well, I took two cruises there. Yeah. So how do you feel about the U.S. involvement in the war in Iraq? I think um, it's basically not um, what war is fought for. It's, I think, um, corporation and money interested entities and I think one of my heroes was Buckminster Fuller and I always believe what uh, he talked and um, wrote books on. So I'm still trying to get my claims and stuff and they just label me as 30% and 
So, yeah. so do you think that an Obama administration would be beneficial to veterans? I think so because um, he has more uh, comprehensive outlook and I think he's uh, a breath of fresh air versus the dominant um, regular uh, person like McCain who is being non vet but I think um, he's got tides in with all the regular um, political process that there's no way he can uh, be thinking independent and all that. I think uh, Obama has more um, leeway and I think um, what's going on nowadays is really reflective of uh, how people are going to um, go for Obama and that's the, probably the bottom line too. Do you think Native people will come out and get the vote out and vote for Senator Obama? I think so. In the Four Corners we had a lot of registration going on and because a lot of us are still um, they just know their native language so we have a lot of interpreters that help uh, the people and I think those that weren't are finding out that uh, what's going on that this is an opportunity to do their voting. Well, we thank you so much for coming and thank you for speaking with us. Very much. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you today? Fine. You're here at a veterans event to support Senator Obama. That's correct. Can you tell us why? Yeah, because uh, having done time in the service, I believe that he has the most the best plan that will be supporting the veterans that I have seen between the two candidates. Okay. And what branch of the service were you in? I was in the army. And w were you abroad? Uh, I was not that long. I was a Vietnam era vet. So I was in the Army. I was an officer in the Armor Corps. I had tanks. We didn't put too many tanks in Vietnam. So I was fortunate enough to spend most of my time in Texas. So are you involved in the campaign? Uh, as a volunteer. I work, I've been working here at this location for the last two months or so. So why do you think Obama can help veterans? Well, <clears throat> excuse me, I think from his experience, from his travel experience, he's been involved with veterans. He knows and understands the plight that uh, veterans coming back from wars have experienced, and he's been very active in terms of his term in, uh, in Congress in supporting the veteran cause. You think better than McCain, who himself is a veteran? I know, which is nothing wrong with that. I'm also a veteran. So I, he and I share a lot, McCain. But I think Obama is more sympathetic to the cause of the veterans' plight than I have seen from McCain. Okay? So that's why I'm interested in uh, supporting him. Not to mention the fact he was my senator when I lived in Illinois. <laughs> so I know him from I understand past you're a veteran? Yes, I am. I was in the Navy in the early 80s. And were you abroad? Uh, no, actually just on the East Coast I was a Navy journalist on a ship. And so what do you think of the U.S. involvement in the war in Iraq? Um, I do not agree with it. I think it's an illegal war, and I think we should have been out of there a long time ago. And I think if McCain is elected president, he will go to Iraq the next day. And is that the, one of the main reasons you're supporting Senator Obama? Well, no. I'm a diehard Democrat, five-generation Democrat, and I was a Hillary person, I'm not ashamed to say. And... Um, when she didn't get the nomination, I had to go with my party. But I do like Obama. Um, as a veteran and as a woman, there is no way I could vote for McCain. He has been horrible to veterans and to women's rights, and I, there's just no way I could vote for him. And Sarah Palin is a nut job, and excuse me, but I don't understand the logic behind having her up there. It's really scary to me. So you've been spending quite a bit of energy uh, here at uh, doing volunteer work. Yes, I love it here. It's like spending time with like-minded people, you know, and everybody has questions and everybody's been so nice and we haven't had to re resort to any kind of the smear tactics. We're, you know, we, we're passionate people. We believe in this man and we want a better country and that's the bottom line. Thank you. Thanks.